so here with uh, with our our experiment of kcl that is also popularly called kirchhoff's current law okay so we will verify that whether the kcl law is true or not okay so we will use a resistive circuit here and we will verify the kcl so what basically the kcl state that the total current entering a node in a circuit okay is actually equal to the total current leaving the same node okay it is all so stated that as a total current or charge entering in a node is exactly equal to the charge leaving to the node okay as it is assumed that no charge is lost within the node so since it is assumed that no charge is lost within the node so it also complies with the law of conservation of charge okay so uh, here we will firstly draw a circuit so firstly we are going to take a power source here just take a dc power source here put it here then from the source we will move on to the basic part we'll choose a capacitor one kilo ohm is already chosen so just click on this ok button click on again the ok button we'll choose one kilo ohm to one kilo ohm okay and then uh, from the source we will choose a ground also Okay, and then so we'll make a simple circuit only here. Okay, so this thing I have done now. I will use an ammeter also here. First ammeter for uh, the measurement of whole current of the circuit. Okay, actually uh, I am going to make a circuit in which uh, there would be two arms. One arm containing this R1, one arm containing this R2. Okay, and an another arm which is directly connected to this voltage source. Okay, it would be connected to this multimeter. Okay, so I'm just going to make the circuit here so that you could understand that what kind of circuit I'm going to make here. I've connected it here. Just uh, rotate it clockwise or counterclockwise. Okay, it looks fine here. Just connect this thing to here, this thing to here. Negative, I'm going to connect it here. Okay, it looks fine. Okay. So, this is the simple circuit. Okay. So, this multimeter, okay, just double click on it, it will act as an ammeter. So, I'm going to click on this A button and it is already set to the DC voltage okay so this will measure the current in whole of the circuit okay so for the KCL just this thing take this thing as a node here okay the point A of the R1 so the current entering from the node uh, in the node from this side from left to right okay suppose this is uh, shown by I okay here this one is I here uh, the current in this R1 is I1 and the current in R2 is I2 okay so for verification of K KCL it is necessary that this I should be equal to I1 plus I2 okay so we will need two more multimeters two more ammeters sorry which would measure the current for this I1 and this I2 okay so what I am going to do is I am just going to break this circuit I am going to use two more ammeters here two and this done okay so again I will make good of this circuit okay so I will just uh, rotate it somewhat okay not in this side yeah in this side but here you, you can look that positive side is in this side and the negative part is in this side so I want positive to be on that side okay because remember always uh, connect the ammeter or voltmeter positive to the side of the source okay so I will just flip this thing vertically now it's okay okay and here it is okay since the positive uh, voltage is coming from this side only so just uh, I'm going to connect this point to this thing this point to this thing 
again this to this and here this to this okay now it's done okay this x mm1 this ammeter is going to measure the current of the whole of the circuit this x mm2 it will measure i'm just going to calibrate it as my ammeter yes now it is an ammeter this will measure the current flowing in this r1 and this x mm3 will measure the current flowing in the r2 okay this branch now when you will uh, run the simulation just click on this run button we are seeing that this ammeter is showing 24 milliampere of current okay and in this arm and in this arm both the arm is containing 12 milliampere of current okay so 12 ampere plus 12 million sorry 12 milliampere plus 12 milliampere is 24 milliampere this means that this i is equal to this i1 plus i2 okay so it proves that kcl is holding true for this circuit okay now just change uh, the resistance value in any one of this arm so firstly just stop the simulation here just you could uh, double click on this thing okay it is a uh, one kilo ohm suppose uh make it 500 ohm okay since ohm value is already written here the unit is ohm only so i have written 500 here so now this is 500 ohm okay in spite of this you could also uh, take the resistance of 500 ohm from this part okay and you could delete the one kilo ohm resistance from this and then you can uh, add the 500 ohm resistance to here or simply you could uh, just uh, change the value of the one kilo ohm resistance to 500 ohm which i have done now again simulate the circuit now here we are seeing that the current in whole of the circuit the, which x m one is showing is 36 milliampere and the current here in uh, the arm containing one kilo ohm resistance is 12 milliampere and the arm containing 500 ohm is 24 milliampere so here we are also saying that the kcl hold goes for this node okay as the current entering in this node okay this point is equal to the current exiting from this point as the current entering here is 36 milliampere which is equal to the sum of this 24 milliampere and 12 milliampere so i hope you understood that how to verify the kcl for this experiment so now if we want to check for different voltage also we can do this thing okay just double click on this voltage part just change the voltage to suppose 10 volt okay now also just check this thing run the simulation and here we are also seeing that while we have taken 10 volt of voltage here we are seeing that the current here is 30 milliampere and the arm containing 1 kilo ohm resistance is 10 milliampere and the arm containing 500 ohm is 20 milliampere okay so 10 milliampere plus 20 milliampere is 30 milliampere okay so this means that uh, uh, this kcl is good for this circuit okay now these values are correct or not this these values are practical values okay 30 milliampere 10 milliampere 20 milliampere okay so you have to check that theoretically whether this 30 milliampere 20 milliampere and 10 milliampere is not is correct or not okay so uh, when you will uh, add these two resistance this is these two resistance are in parallel will get a value that is r equivalent just divide it okay by 10 volt when you will divide this thing by 10 volt you will get an current and then current is approx 30 milliampere yes so this current is 30 milliampere here only okay so theoretical and practical values matches here okay and similarly you could check that whether this 10 milliampere and this 20 milliampere current are correct values or not theoretically also okay if the theoretical and practical values matches then that means that yes the kcl really exists for these circuits okay so this is the end of the experiment thank you for watching